E2 F5 TTS and Fish Audio are two great free tools that can generate high quality text to speech. They both support multiple languages now, allowing you to generate speech in a growing list of different languages. Or you can use it to generate English audio, but with a foreign accent. And Fish only requires a GPU with 4 gigabytes of video RAM, while E2 F5 only needs 6 gigabytes. I'll show you how to use both tools with multiple languages in the following tutorial, recording of which is actually a follow-up on my previous video where I showed you how to use E2F5 for English, including preparing the input audio. So if you need help with installing or the basic usage of E2F5, then I suggest you watch that video where you can also learn how to lip sync the generated the audio. Process. Let's first look at E2F5, and if you had it installed previously, then you need to update it by stopping it in Pinocchio, and then by clicking on Update. Once it's up to date, you need to download the model for the language, so we click on Custom Models, which takes us to a search for the term F5 on Hugging Face. This will list all available models for F5, and the ones that are relevant for us are the ones that have one or multiple languages in their name, such as these. Now to download a model, we first switch back to Pinocchio and launch E2F5. Here, you can see two fields with a URL that we both need to replace with the URLs for the model we want to use. Basically, what we need to do is we need to copy and paste the user and repo ID, as well as the name of the model and the name of the vocap.txt file. The user and repo ID can be easily found within the URL, while for the names of the files, we can click on Files and Versions, where we can see both files and their names. So let's copy the user ID and the repo ID and paste them in the field of the URL for the model. Now you may have noticed that for this German model, there are multiple names. And when that's the case, you should be able to find more info on which one to use on the model card page. So we copy the name of the correct model and paste it behind the IDs. Next, we copy both IDs again and paste them in the field of the vocap.txt file. Since we've seen that the name of the vocap is the same as here, and that was the case for all languages that I tried so far, we now only need to make sure that the syntax of the URLs is correct. Here's another example of how everything needs to look, in this case, for the Spanish model. Now you can just use the tool like you normally would. And again, if you need help with that, just watch my previous video. Once you generate your first audio with a new language, the new model files will be downloaded in the background and the text should be automatically transcribed in the language of your input audio. But here's some important advice. Once the files are downloaded and you generated some audio with it, I suggest that you replace the URL of the models with the local path to avoid downloading the same model files again after a restart of the tool or when switching between custom models. To find the path where the models have been downloaded to, you need to go to the cache folder of E2F5 and click through some more subfolders. Once you have located the model for both files, copy the path and paste them in the respective fields. Selecting and switching between different languages might be simplified with an update at some point, but for now this is what you need to do if you want to switch between foreign languages. If you are unhappy with the model of your language, then you can either wait for another model of that same language to pop up on Hugging Face, or you can try the next best tool, which is Fish Audio. And Fish currently supports these languages right out of the box. Even though Fish comes close, I would say the overall quality is a bit better in E2F5. As a comparison, this is how E2F5 sounds when using it to generate English audio. And this is what it sounds like in Fish Audio when using the same input audio. So I suggest you stick to E2F5 for English text-to-speech. This also goes for other languages, as you will hear, but keep in mind that you can always improve the quality of a voice after it's been generated, for example, in any video editing software. 
just like E2F5, you can install Fish easily through Pinocchio. And by editing the URL, you can switch to a dark theme. To generate speech in someone else's voice, we first enable reference audio before we then upload a clip of that voice. And even though it can be difficult to judge a foreign language, I want to show you some comparisons, even if you are not a native speaker. For that, I'm using a German voice that you might recognize. There are also best practices for the input audio, which you can find on the Git of Fish, or you can check out my previous video for more info on that. Next, and that is different to E2F5, we need to transcribe the text of our input audio manually. Before we can then enter the text we want to generate. And you don't need to tell Fish which language you are using because it detects that automatically. Click on Generate when you are done and here you can listen to a comparison between F5 and Fish with and without transcribing the reference audio. Hallo, mein Name ist Angela Merkel und meine Stimme ist nicht echt. Hallo, mein Name ist Angela Merkel und meine Stimme ist nicht echt. Hallo, mein Name ist Angela Merkel und meine Stimme ist nicht echt. If it wasn't clear to you as a non-German speaker, Fish sounds really bad without transcribing. And if you use this workflow, then you can even generate English speech, but with a foreign accent. And this seems to work much better in Fish compared to E2F5 TTS. While playing around with the advanced config, most of the settings seem to be making the output a bit worse. But what I noticed is that when using a fixed seed, you can then use the temperature to generate the same speech again, but with a slightly different emphasis or intonation, which I hope you can hear in the following comparison. Hallo, mein Name ist Angela Merkel und meine Stimme ist nicht echt. Hallo, mein Name ist Angela Merkel und meine Stimme ist nicht echt. Hallo, mein Name ist Angela Merkel und meine Stimme ist nicht echt. So, as you have seen, Fish makes it much easier to use and switch between different languages, but for now it is limited to the eight languages it comes with, as you cannot download more languages like you can do with F5. And Fish requires you to transcribe the input audio manually, while F5 does it automatically. If you want to stay up to date on major developments in the field of free AI voice cloning, then make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you're not happy with the results of either tool or your language isn't available yet, then you can always use your own voice to clone another voice, which is the method I am using right now. This works in any language and it also works pretty well in real time. As always, thanks to everyone who's contributing to anything open source AI related, such as anyone bringing even more languages to the tools. And thank you for watching this video till the end. If you've learned something new, then I'd appreciate if you liked or shared the video, and I'll see you next time.